On April 1st, Joseph Prusha published a video about the future of filaments. In it, he presented a new filament in the shape of a hexagon. Although it was just a simple April Fool's joke, Joseph Prusha perfected. How? Simply by actually making this filament and offering it in limited quantities for purchase on the eShop. Today, we are going to see if this really is the future of filaments. The filament came in the same conditions as any other filament. After unpacking this pool, I was interested in the shape and dimensions of the filament. For a standard Prusament PLA oval shape, the filament diameter should be between 1.73 mm and 1.77 mm. In most cases, the diameter does not exceed 1.75 mm. But with this hexagonal filament, everything is a little different. When measuring the sides, I haven't fallen below 1.67 mm. When measuring the peaks, I haven't exceed 1.8 mm. So I am not sure if this filament can be described as 1.75 mm. In the video, it was seen that uh, this filament can print very beautiful hexagons. But I wondered how it would handle a circle, for example. When I printed a circle from a standard Prusament PLA oval shape, the final print was as expected. But this hexagonal filament threw a monkey wrench in the works. When I tried to print a circle, my printer printed a hexagon. Since Easter was around the corner, I needed to print Easter eggs. I printed a large number of eggs from different filament manufacturers and all were fine. However, once this filament came out, the printer had trouble making round shapes and the result turned it out as, as you see. I tried to print body, the dog and again the same situation. When printing from a standard Prusament PLA oval shape, everything was fine. When printing from this filament, the printer was acting like an artist. I'm not saying the print didn't look nice, but it wasn't quite what I expected. As I'm sure you have figured out by now, of course I'm making a little fun of you. This filament can print any shape you want. Actually, it can print anything because it's like any other filament. Except for a few little flaws. Because of its shape, its dispensing isn't always as precise as oval filament, which you can actually see in these prints. Both of these prints are from printers with linear rails. Both prints have their imperfections, but the fluctuation of filament flow is clear on both. So what to say in conclusion about the filament? As an AP Fools joke, it's absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, I don't see it as the future of filament. But of course, this is just my opinion. You make up your own opinion. This filament was only available in limited quantities. Now, this filament is no longer available for purchase from official sources. I will keep the rest of this filament just as a memory of a perfectly crafted April Fool's joke.